And we are live, Yolanda. Hi. There's Hi, Mr. Elizabeth. How are you? <laughs> Good. Welcome, everybody, to the Best Ever You show with the beautiful Mrs. International 2021, Yolanda Stennett. And um, hi. Oh, good. Hi. You radiate beauty over there inside now. Oh, thank you so much for having me. This means so much. You're just an amazing person and such an inspiration. So thank you so much. Oh, and so are you. We met so long ago, everybody. <laughs> wow. It's what, 15, 16 years ago? Yeah, we were roommates. We were roommates. <laughs> and uh, we were roommates. And, you know, if you if you know Yolanda, she is, uh, I call her Yoli, but if you know Yoli, <laughs> she's way taller than me. I might be 5'2 today because I have big hair, 5'3 maybe. But um, I felt like a, I felt like a duck out of water where we were. And she took the time and energy to just help me. I don't know. You helped me. You taught me to walk on stage and all this cool stuff that made, makes you, you and the winner of Mrs. International. So thank, thank you. you for that. Thank you for your grace. And I'm sure it, it has carried with you all these years. I mean, we've kept in touch. We do little roomy things and, and all that stuff. So I appreciate you a lot. So thank you for being here. You too. Thank you for being a great roommate. That was fun. It was really fun. <laughs> I made that fun. We have so to do it again. again. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We'll be in the, uh, well, my, in my case, I'm, I'm way older than you by 10 years, I think. Um, so I'll be in the grandma section. Um, hey, I'll anyway. be in the grandma section too. I, well, we both will be. <laughs> That's the thing about the grandma section age, age has no boundaries. Um, so tell me what's going on. Um, you're here today, but I, I think like right after this show, you're packing up to go where? Absolutely. So right after the show, I have one more appearance this afternoon. And then you're right, I'll be packing up because tomorrow I leave for the 2022 Mrs. International pageant where we will see 52 wonderful ladies all across the United States and from across the globe. They will compete for the title of who I will crown next Saturday night. That's That's got to be a week of fun. Where is that this year? It's going to be in Kingsport, Tennessee. It's so beautiful there. And the city has just rolled out the red carpet. It's been there the last two years. So this is the third year and it's just an amazing place to be. So I'm so looking forward to going back to Kingsport. Now, do you have tears, tears of joy and sadness combined as you take that beautiful crown? And what do you do with that crown when you're done? That's a heck of a crown you've got on your head there. So <laughs> Any hat <laughs> what, what, that goes on the uh, in a in a case, I'm guessing. Yes, so I have this beautiful, beautiful case that lights up. It has a mirror on the inside. It even has a phone charger, right? So <laughs> amazing case, right? So I carry it around, uh, and when I'm finished being the reigning Mrs. International, I will probably put it on my desk and look at it every day because it's just so beautiful. Like especially when I put it in the case with the lights. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, it is. And what does it mean to what does it mean to you to have that crown and that banner on and represent all of us who want to be you? <laughs> you know, it means so much. Uh, I have done pageants since I was 16. So, you know, a couple of decades at this point. And, you know, you always hear those stories about you have to be a certain type of person or you have to have a certain type of look or you have to have a certain size. And when I went into Mrs. International, I said, you know what, this is probably, I'm, I'm probably at the end of my years of competing. So when I do this, I'm doing this totally my way. I'm not trying to be a certain size. I'm not gonna try to wear a special color dress because that's what always wins. I'm just going to be me. And I think for the first time and all the pageants I've done in all these years, I found myself during that week. Like I was so comfortable, I wasn't nervous and um, it panned out. Yeah, no, beautiful. What color did you wear, by the way? Like, what what was that dress like? I wore a very couture black dress. Um, I'm very Hollywood ish, so I'm not a typical, you know, pageant designer person at all. I'll go to the typical pageant designer. So, um, I just found this dress that I fell in love with. It, it was black. Black is completely faux pas when you're competing in pageants, especially yeah. for Mrs. Um, but I loved it, and it was so couture and. For me, when I looked at it, I said, I can see Beyonce wearing this on the red carpet. So that's the dress for me. <laughs> that's perfect. Now, do you have help? Like even to, you know, to look as beautiful as you do right now, is that just you, you know, like, oh, I'm, I'm just beautiful. And here I am. With, do, do people help you in the background with your dresses and your wardrobe and your, and so forth? Because this is a, I can't even imagine really for a week being Mrs. International, just exactly what that wardrobe looks like <laughs> in that oh. room or many. 
My wardrobe is intense. Um, I have a SUV and my SUV will be completely loaded down with my suitcases and all the shoe boxes and purse boxes and everything you can think of. But I do have help. Um, I have a wonderful uh, makeup artist who has flown in from Houston. Um, he is a celebrity of all celebrity makeup artists and he makes me feel like a queen. So he'll be doing my hair and makeup for the weekend, uh, for the week. So thank you, Gasper Cruz. I love you. And um, my wardrobe, oh gosh, I have such an amazing wardrobe, which was part of the prize package uh, courtesy of the competitive image in Dothan, Dothan Alabama. Clay Spann and Joey Rutherford have been amazing this entire year. Um, they have supported international pageants for, gosh, longer than I can remember, right? You know, probably since the very beginning. And they just, they're, they're top notch and they're so stylish. And I loved lots of the things that they've helped me pick out for the week. So I just can't wait to unveil some of the new things that I get to wear. <laughs> so, I, I, yeah, I love them too. And, and I've been in this pageant before all the way back in, I think it was 2011. And so I had the honor of representing Mrs. Maine, uh, being Mrs. Maine and representing Maine. And I won the Go Red for Women Online Award, which was really special to me. And so that brings me to my next point, which is, you know, Pat, everybody thinks of pageants as maybe like this throwdown backstage and, you know, this, this war between women and a crown and a banner and dresses and makeup and hair and all this stuff. But really, there's a purpose to this pageant. And it is why it is my favorite pageant. It is why I, I have been involved with on a best ever you level for so long with Mary Richardson, the Mrs. International pageant and um, the Miss and the, I think there's a Ms too. I can't remember, but there's no, a, there's no Ms. Is, is there just two now, teen and? Preteen, teen, oh, pre -teen that's right. and Ms. Thank you. Okay, so there's four now. Yeah. It's changed. But anyway, um, so I, I've been involved with the pageant for, for a while because it has a platform. Can you explain what it, what that is and kind of what sets that this pageant apart? Absolutely. So a platform in pageantry is pretty much a social cause uh, that you are really concerned about and you advocate for and you really want to advocate for change. So for me, my platform is mentoring by any means necessary. Mm -hmm. I have been a mentor for the last 20 plus years of my life. I coach high school cheerleading and um, I just, I really love the kids that I work with. I also work with organizations that help um, raise funds to start up other mentoring programs. So I support my own mentoring program. I help run another mentoring program. I help raise funds for other mentoring programs. And, um, you know, mentoring, it's, it's a gift that keeps on giving, right? Yeah. You know, a lot of times, especially I see with the kids that are on my cheerleading team, I know things about them sometimes that they're afraid to tell their parents or that they don't tell their parents. And I'm the first person that they come to. And that's why mentors are so important. You know, it doesn't matter how close of a relationship you have with your child, right? There is always someone that can reach them in a different way. And so it really is great when you partnership parenthood, mentors, teachers, when you make that village, right? You know, it takes yeah. a village to raise a child. It really does. And that's what mentoring is all about. Uh, I dedicate probably about 35 hours a week to mentoring outside of my actual full-time job. So it really is just a part of my life, pageant or no pageant. And when I'm done being the reigning Mrs. International, I will keep on mentoring. <laughs> yeah. Do you, um, are you sad with the, with giving up the, you know, there's a, that kind of like, oh, I don't want to really take this off. <laughs> I am. I'm usually not a super emotional person, um, but I have a feeling on Saturday night, I'm probably going to lose it and drop a few tears, um, <laughs> which I'll, I will then laugh at myself, right? Because I'm not that girl, but I, re I really am going to be sad. This has been such an amazing experience. It's truly a once in a lifetime experience. You know, I can never come back and be Mrs. International again. And so I had to take this last year and just make the best of it. And, and I feel like I've done a great job and accomplished many of the things that I wanted to accomplish. Uh, unfortunately, the first six months of my reign, we were still in the pandemic. So I wasn't able to travel internationally as much as I wanted to. But you know what? That's all right. I can I can still travel and make a change and change the world without being the reigning title holder. I think the thing of it is you always are. 
No, I think that's I think that's one of the things when you give up when you change the crown to somebody else, you still always are. You're still Mrs. International 2021. So I think you should put the crown and the crown and banner back on and just be it. <laughs> I don't think it has to retire necessarily. It's 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 a it's an honor. I mean, it's a huge privilege. Do you go back when you're Mrs. International? I think I think I know the answer to this, but I'm just going to ask. Do they bring you back every year to to see the new winners? Because when I was there, there were a lot of other um, Mrs. Internationals there. So you are definitely welcomed back every year, year after year. Um, they will still continue to treat you like a queen, even if you're not the <laughs> reigning queen. It is so amazing. Um, I've heard from so many of the formers how they just feel every time they come back, they just feel so royal and so loved. And that's another thing that I really love about this system is Mary Richardson really takes care of her people. She really does. Yeah. And she's about as tall as I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cute the one I've, I've seen her next to some winners that are like six foot four in heels or maybe even taller and it's just like it's so cute um yeah just just a, a beautiful 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 person and and so do do you love this pageant like would you recommend this pageant to other women if somebody's listening to us right now and they want to be in a pageant um or maybe it's their first time being in a pageant is this a good pageant for that it is, and let me tell you why. So typically when you think of pageants, on, you think of television and you think of beautiful girls, like you said, really tall women and their swimsuit and all these other things involved, but that is not what the Mrs. International system is about. That's not what the international system is about, regardless of what division you're in. Um, for the Mrs. specifically, your score is comprised of 50% of an in-person interview. So you'll have an opportunity to sit one-on-one -on -one with each judge for five minutes and you will just talk about your life and your platform. And there are five judges. So technically you're interviewing for 25 minutes and that's 50% of your score. The other 50% of your score is evening gown. You know, what is a pageant without being glamorous in an evening gown? And then the other 25% is fitness wear. And for, you know, I'm in my late forties. So I've had some children and I really love the international system because fitness wear is biker shorts and a sports bra or biker shorts and a tank top. It's whatever you feel most comfortable in. And it's not necessarily about your size. You know, I am, I'm not itty bitty. I'm a size eight, sometimes a size 10, right? So I'm not a, a teeny tiny woman, but I was able to feel so comfortable on that stage because of fitness wear. And I love that it just, it embraces and gives every woman an opportunity. Yeah. I'm far from itty bitty as well. Um, you know, sometimes going to a 12, even, you know, like it's eight, I, I go six, 10, six, eight, 10, 12, my work, my closet has like everything in there, depending. And I've had four kids and, um, you know, I, I was there in, in fitness and I sort of cringed a little bit because I'm, I think, you know, you go, Oh, I could have been a little bit more physically fit for this, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. Yeah. And it makes you, it makes you notice things and stuff, but it also doesn't pick on you for that at all. It celebrates who you are in that moment. And if, and it's more of like a comfort on stage thing. I think that's one of the things that you helped me the most, um, with was that just being comfortable in your own skin and who you are. Can you talk about that just a little bit more? Because, you know, I think I think a lot of women in the background go, oh, that would be pretty cool to do. I would like to do that. I'd love to dress up and have this great wardrobe for a week and represent my state and have a platform and do really good things in the world. And but they stop and they go, oh, wait a minute, it's a pageant. Mm, I don't know. You know, it is a pageant. And I just looked at it as in my regular life, I do not do all this hair and makeup <laughs> Day, right? Yeah. So for one, I do. No, I'm just kidding. Great. I was going to say you, Miss <laughs> Fabulous, with your own television show. That's I'm a whole kidding. different thing. <laughs> but I don't do this every day. So yeah. for one, it to me, it's a girls' week, right? It's a vacation. When else do you ever go anywhere and you get to spend an entire week solely focusing on yourself? No husband, no kids. You know, you're not making lunches. It is about you. And for me, it's such a spiritual recharge that I need, you know, it's self care. Yeah. And um, that's one of the things that I really like about pageants. But with Mrs. International specifically, I learned firsthand that, you know, I wasn't in the best of shape. Could I have been in better shape? Absolutely. But when I'm spending 30 to 35 hours a week working on my community service and I still work a full-time job and I have young children at home, going to the gym and working out, I'm sorry, it's just not a priority. It really isn't. And 
I'm not ashamed of being, you know, not a smaller size. Just like you said, my closet ranges anything from a six to an eight to a 10 to a 12, right? And it is what it is, but that doesn't make me love myself any less. And once I realize that my fluctuating size is not a reflection of the person that I am or a reflection of the work that I can do in the community, I really just kind of came into my own and said, you know what? I'm going to go out here and give it the best shot that I can. And if work. I, win, I win, and if I don't, I'll come back next year. So fun. Yeah, it, absolutely. Did you... Um... What did you love most about the other women? Let's talk about all the other women for a moment here. And who's who's in this next, I don't know if you know this or not, but like who's in this next pageant? Um, what are some of their platforms? Or talk about your sister queens, however you want to take that question. Just let's talk about other women for a little bit. Fo take the focus off of us. Sure. Well, the other women in this pageant are amazing. You know, everyone is there for the love of their platform, for the love of their community. And they're all just trying to make a difference. I call them change makers, right? That's really what they are. They are change makers. They are forging change in every aspect of their communities, whether it's through legislation or they're creating social programs. Like these are real live change makers and they're heroes, right? And they're not heroes that you see on television. They don't have you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to donate to charity. They are just making a difference in their communities. And I love it. Uh, the platforms are amazing. I love coming to pageant week because you learn so much. You know, there are things that I had no idea were social problems, right? And so for me, again, it's an educational opportunity. And that's what I really love about the international system. Like you're, you're constantly learning, you're constantly developing, like you just get the opportunity to just be this amazing person. So the contestants, I couldn't even, I couldn't even pick a top 15 right now if I wanted to. That's how amazing they are. I think there are 52 women competing this year and I'm just glad that I'm not a judge. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, one of the things that I love about you too, is that when you're there and when you're with all these other women, I, I can remember being there and seeing Mrs. International and being almost afraid to go up to her because she looked busy or, you know, not, she was friendly and everything. There was nothing like that. She just, she was looked busy and she looked like she was so put together and just like, I better not touch her or talk to her or whatever. And you are that way, but you're super, super, super engaging. Like you will take your crown and banner off and just sit in your jammies with people. Um, <laughs> and that better than anybody. Right? I do. I do. And that is the blessing of you this year. I think I have goosebumps thinking about you there with all these new women trying to get your, you know, compete for your crown and be Mrs. International because of your personality. It's so kind, so sweet, so gracious. And I know you personally, I know how you treated me and you didn't have to, you know, you're doing your thing. And I'm like, wait a minute, I kind of want a little bit of what you've got. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And I think these girls are so lucky because they're going to get a little bit of Yoli. Yay. It's going to be cool. <laughs> oh, thank you. You know, you and I had such a great time. Yeah. Um, you know, you really get to know someone when you live with them for an entire week in a teeny tiny hotel room. I know you hate steak. <laughs> really, we, you really get to know someone when you are compiled in a, in a tiny hotel room with them. And, yeah. you know, these women, they are in for the treat of their life. You know, Mrs. International is just amazing. Mary crosses every T and she dots every I and she does not leave one stone unturned. And I'm so type A, I love the fact that you know exactly where you're gonna be, what you're doing every second of the day. And she sticks to that schedule and I love it. And the ladies will have so many opportunities to go around the city of Kingsport and do some really amazing things. They'll engage in community service. They'll have a little fun. They get to go ax throwing. How fun is that? That's very cool. Right. Very cool. <laughs> okay. um, so I'm excited to see them and just kind of relax. Yeah, right now. Ax throwing. I'm writing that down. I got to make sure that's a live stream, please. I need that on live. <laughs> um, okay. We got to, we're going to go here. We're, we're going to wrap up too. So you can go do your thing. Just a quick chat with you. Come back. Come back again after you know after this is all over. Come back again. We'll talk. We'll talk and keep talking because it's really fun. Um, but okay. So, what about the people who get all sad and all the stuff because they didn't win? Let's go there for a minute and the composure required because there's one winner, 
there's a lot of top 10, top 15, top five, runner up, all this stuff. But there's one person who walks away with that crown and banner. What do you have to say to the other folks who don't walk away with the crown and banner? Because there's how you finish something says a lot about you. You know, that was me in 2020. I did not win. I actually competed at Mrs. International in 2020. I didn't even make top 15. And I was really disappointed in myself. Like I felt that I could do better. And I think about what I tell my mentees and my cheerleaders, right? Yeah. How you lose says a lot about you. Yeah. There are a million pageants out there. There are There is a pageant for every single type of person. If you lose, it's okay. Come back to this one next year. Go try another one, right? Like pageants are like shoes. If you don't like this shoe, go find another one. Yeah. Right. It's it's just that simple. Like I I really just I I see it and it, I always get heartbroken when people are really 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 upset. And I know it's just so many emotions because people really want to win. But at the end of the day you are a change maker. You're there for a reason. And even if you don't walk away as Mrs. International, you have had the opportunity to put your platform on an international stage, to have it internationally recognized. You've shared that information, you've educated 50 plus other women who can then take that information into their communities. So no matter whether you walk away as Mrs. International or not, you've won. Yeah. You've won. Yeah. Do you think, do you think it's important to say that at the beginning? To, to set that stage for you to, for people to have the best experience ever. Cause it's an experience. It's an event. Like I, I could pretty much tell you within five minutes of being there, there was no way in the world. I, and I, and I didn't feel beaten or anything. I just know pageants well enough to know that that wasn't going to be my thing. So right. I kind of stepped back and I'm like, and I didn't have that expectation going in anyway. I wasn't like, Oh, I'm going to win this thing. I'm going to knock everybody over to win or <laughs> anything like that. I was just going to be there. And my goal in being there was really, to make friends. I really was interested in the other women. I wanted to walk away and be able to feature people on my website, and radio show, and make these connections and network. And I wanted to be a champion of others. And that was my whole reason for being there. Do you think it's important to understand your real reason for being there? Oh, absolutely. You have to know your real reason for being there before you even get there. You have to know your real reason before you even enter. And, you know, I just, I like pageants, right? I love I, you do. I love talking about yeah. mentoring. I love, oh, sorry, my dog. No, it's okay. We've got dogs too. I'm, I'm sitting over here going, don't bark, don't bark. Right, I'm thinking like, oh God, okay. they were so quiet the whole time. It's, it's Mrs. International oh. Doggy. It's cute. <laughs> Hi, baby. So, but you know, I you've got to know your reason for going in and you've got to oh. set a goal, set a smart goal, set attainable goals, reasonable goals yeah. going into things. And you know, even if your goal is to say, I'm not going to trip and fall. Or yeah, I have I'm that too. Do my really well every day, right? Yeah. Set small attainable goals for yourself so that at the end yeah. of the pageant, when things may or may not work out how you want, you've yeah. achieved the things that you've wanted to achieve. And then that really reduces the amount of disappointment you have in yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I know I went in there. I really wanted to win the Go Red for Women online award. And I did. That was my, that was my other goal for, for something to like win. But I, I really felt passionate for that cause because um, my, my dad was a stroke survivor. It's a stretch to go from my dad's a stroke survivor to go red for women online, but it, it all it worked in the same yes. area. Yeah. So anyway, all right. Is there anything before we go that I haven't asked you that you're just, you want to tell us about? I just want everybody to know that it's never too late, right? If you are sitting there and you're watching and you're thinking, you know, I may want to do a pageant, but I'm too old or I can't do it, do it, do it. I am 46 years old. I'm a mother of three. I'm a grandmother of three. You know, you are never too old to go after your dreams. Just get up and do it, right? You may not be successful the first time. And just like anything else in life, you may fail and fail and fail again, but you know what? You keep trying. This took me 30 plus years in pageantry to get to, right? That's a really long time. And I never let myself get to the point where I said, eh, I quit and I'm never coming back to this, right? I took small breaks, but I kept trying because the higher, my higher purpose in pageantry is not for the pretty crowns. It's for the love of mentoring. Oh my gosh, my dog's okay. And now they're coming in. <laughs> so good. I love it. Yeah, so, we're, um, we keep it real. That uh, that's what I love about you the most. So just so you know, don't don't worry. 
I'm like, what are they doing downstairs? And of course, my husband's at home to like keep them controlled. But Elizabeth, I want to thank you for donating your change guidebook that I will be given to every single contestant at Mrs. International this year. She has taken the time to autograph them and I love your book. So I'm so excited to be able to share it with the contestants of Mrs. International. And I think the purpose of your book at book and the words behind it and your meaning, it fits right into what we were just discussing. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank, thank you. And thank you to all the contestants for the support and love and everything. Of, I hope you have the best time ever. I hope you have so much fun. I wish you could be Mrs. International like forever and ever and ever. You kind Me of too. are. <laughs> I think you are anyway. I think I, I oh my gosh. I, Hold when when you can take a picture for me of you with that um the mag the magazine or the, the pageant book is what they call it so gorgeous in the front of it oh my gosh I cried I'm like oh my gosh look at her she's so beautiful thank uh, you thank uh, you well, I'll do one better I will send my favorite roommate one so uh, please I oh my gosh sign it and send it I love it all right everybody lots of love to you good luck this week good luck to everybody at the mrs international pageant give mary a big hug for me i don't know clay and joey very well i met them but i don't know them very well but we can hug them too and and uh yeah Mwah. yes thank, thank you everyone you. if you are interested in, in watching the pageant oh yeah friday night is prelims saturday night are finals you can watch on mrs international.com they'll be streaming and I am so excited to see who is going to be the next lady to have this once in a lifetime opportunity. Oh, we have a question. Huh? People want to know how they can enter for next year. Huh? Oh, absolutely. So go to Mrs. International.com. There's a section for how to enter. You can pick on any of your states. Um, a good portion of the states have an actual state pageant. And if you are out of the country, you can click on your country there as well, and it'll point you to either your country director, and if not, it'll send you directly to Mary Richardson. Perfect. All right. Good luck. Have fun. Okay. Thank you. Happy Bye. <laughs> Bye. Take care.